Hello everybody and welcome to the first part of a new series. This time I'm going to be playing this. And this is Cryostasis. And this is a game that I've had on my shelf, well, ever since it was released, pretty much. Back in, um, let's have a look. There's probably a date around here somewhere. Jesus, really? 2009. Copyright 2009. 2009. My eyes do not deceive me. So I've had this for a, a very long time. Five or six years, maybe even seven. This was originally going to be the third game I was going to play on CJU-01 after Penumbra Overture and Black Plague, but um, it never actually turned out that way because of one reason, really. Uh, this game, as you may or may not know, suffers with a lot of performance issues. It is very badly optimized. There are so many crashing issues that you sort of encounter, and the bugs. Don't even get me started on the bugs. Um, I only have a vague idea that this is going to work this time, but... Let's face it, I am, I'm basically sitting in front of the best computer I've ever had. I can probably power through a lot of the old performance issues that I ran into before. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, let's actually play Cryostasis the way it was meant to be played. Hope you enjoy it. My story is comfortless. It isn't sweet or happy as fictional stories are. It has shades of senselessness and confusion, of madness and dreams like the lives of those people who no longer delude themselves. Herman Hess. against them and drove them into the depths of the forest. The forest was dark and swampy, for it was very ancient, and the boughs of the trees were so closely interwoven that they shut out the view of the sky, and the sun's rays did all they could to pierce the thick foliage and reach the waters of the swamp. And wherever they reached those waters, poisonous vapors arose, and the people began to get sick and die. They had to get out of the forest, but there were only two ways. One was to go back over the road they'd come, but at the end of it, strong and vicious foes awaited them. The other was to push forward through the forest, but there they'd encounter the giant trees, whose mighty branches were closely entwined, and whose gnarled roots were sunk deep into the mire of the bogs. They were a brave people, and they would have fought to the death with those who had once defeated them, had they not feared being wiped out in the fight. They had their forefathers' behests to defend, and if they perished, their behests would perish with them. So they sat, pondering their fate through the long nights, with the poisonous vapors rising around them, and the forest singing its mournful song. And the shadows of the fires leaped about them in a soundless dance, and it seemed as if it weren't mere shadows dancing, but the evil spirits of forest and bog celebrating their triumph. All right. I have to say, even at this point, it is playing so much better than it used to. So much better. I guess whatever I did to the config files and the game files, whatever tweaks I made, seem to have worked. Wow. Okay, finally I get to enjoy this game the way it was meant to be played. Right, okay, so the game is set around the Arctic Circle rather than Greenland like Penumbra, so the similarities kind of end with it being very cold and the protagonists wearing the same sort of stuff. We really do need to pay attention to heat in this game. I think what we need to do is actually probably go outside, or no, maybe not. Let's uh, let's go through here if possible. Can we do that? There we go. Open the hatch. Oh, perfect. I can't get over this. The performance is so much better. 
I mean, I think I was forced to... I think I was forced to play this originally in like 5... 10 FPS max, I think? And that was on set- that was on low settings. This is unbelievable. I think still, to this day, it is, uh, it's terrible. Performance-wise, a lot of people still can't run it, but for some reason... I don't know, maybe I sacrificed the right goat to the right god, but it's working. And there we are. I have a flashlight now. Perfect. Yeah, keeping out of the cold in this game is just top priority, I think. Finding just a little bit of warmth is everything, as uh, as you'll discover. The game is actually set largely inside a Russian icebreaker. I forget what it's called. It's probably written on the back of the box, actually. But, um, yeah, we're basically on the inside of a frozen ship. With the occasional dead body that sort of appears every now and then. Right, you can see there's a red light coming from his heart. Let's see what that's all about. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to try this again. Right, okay. I'm not going to explain anything right now, because soon the game will do it for us, I think. Right. Um, I should probably explain about the, the dial in the bottom left, though. So, um... What's this? You can run by holding the left shift button, but watch the le the yellow indicator carefully. Yeah, okay, so the yellow indicator on the dial in the bottom left is my stamina. And that goes down when I sprint and when I jump, uh, when I crouch. It doesn't really make, make a difference, it seems. It does go down a little bit, actually. But um, the outer rim of the dial, I suppose, is, um, is the heat of the area. And as you can see, by the dial and by the breath that is coming out of my face, it's very, very cold. The inner part of the dial is my health, so that little red sliver is actually all the health I have left. I am very close to death. Now, the way they do health in this game is really interesting. But, um, I'll allow the game to explain itself later on. Now, here's the same body again. Some sort of redness coming from his heart. Can we walk across there? I think so. Here we go. Another vision. Aha, there you go. You figured out what's going on yet? The body's disappeared and apparently I did... I, I think I travelled across, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, let's continue going up, I think. You're still too weak for anything but a short sprint. With time, you'll gain more stamina and you'll get tired less and recover faster. Good, because as of right now, it's, uh... It's awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. I think a lot of that has to do with my health. Right, uh, let's get this open. Try not to get whacked by the big frozen door. And let's move on to, uh... To go down, I think. Back when this was released, it looked amazing, honestly. It still kind of does. Here he is again. The red light emanating from his chest. Once more, another vision. There it is. That's the Russian icebreaker. That's where I am right now. But this isn't my character. Sounds like someone's aboard. There you go. What we're effectively doing there is viewing his last moments. I have an ability in this game. I, I don't know I don't know exactly what it's called. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna consult the back of the box. It yeah, mental echo. It's called mental echo. And it's gonna play a major role in this game. There it is again. Let's go investigate. Right, now this time 
this is where it gets interesting. I've seen what happened to him, and now I have to get him out of this situation. I have to change his fate. So let's see if we can do that. Okay. Alright, boy. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Right. The sled's no good, obviously. Oh, what's this? Alexander Nesterov, a junior research assistant at the Pole 21 Polar Station, is due at coordinates 86 degrees 21 north, 74 degrees 57 east, on the 27th of March 1981, where he will board the nuclear icebreaker North Wind. There you go. That's what it's called. That that you can barely see in front of me is North Wind. Right. Follow the dogs. The dogs know the way. Right, yeah, we're going to try and change this guy's fate. Previously, he died. Perhaps if I do it right, he won't. Okay, 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 okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? I think just following the dogs as sort of like relay points is a pretty good sort of strategy. Oh, there's another one. Okay, how can we get up there? Stay there, boy. Stay there. Bloody hell. The wind. <laughs> the cold. Oh, yeah, I, I see another one. I can't tell you how much of a pain it was to play this game previously. Unless your computer met very exact specifications, it would run like shit, no matter what settings or whatever hardware you had. It was so weird. Boy, boy, where are you? Where are you? Got to be around here somewhere. I think we've got to get inside the ship. There we go. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Up here and then around, I hope. Yep, the wind is kind of blowing me into the ship, i got to say. Right, jump, 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 jump. Okay. And in. Yes, okay. Well, we made it in. What's this? Oh. Oh, oh shit, okay. Ah, but here's the main thing. Because of the actions that I just did, because of the events you just saw, the body is no longer lying on the floor. We changed his fate. Maybe not by much. I mean, I might find him in the next room. Who knows? <laughs> I doubt he got off the ship. But we changed his fate. And we're going to need to do that to several characters throughout the game. This game, it seems, for a lot of places, has pretty much fallen off the map. A little bit like Scratches has recently. It's, um, I mean, it's not on Steam anymore. I think it used to be. And I know it used to be on GOG, but it's not anymore. And I can't help but think it has something to do with the performance issues that everyone seemed to have trouble with. Everything in this game just feels cold. I mean, there are much better looking games out right now, but I, I, I don't know if there's a better looking game set in, you know, the Arctic or, or the, the snow that really makes you feel quite as cold as this game does. Oh shit, look at this. Another body. This time frozen around the handrails. Let's have a look at this guy. We do not want to end up like him, and that is why heat is so important in this game. That's a pretty horrible way to go. Let's get this turned on. Right. Now you can see the sort of outer rim of the dial in the bottom left is actually going up. This generator is actually creating a lot of heat just by spinning around. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want to happen. Um, do we go back, or what do we do? Let's go. I guess we have to go back. All right. Ah, a fire. How is it going? The cans are in place. No sign yet. Sit down. Warm up while it burns. I've brought two more crates to dry. Sit down. I should just say, I mean, although this isn't actually a blind playthrough, I haven't actually completed the game before, and I don't really know the reason that I can do all this. I don't really know why things are manipulated around me all the time. Why uh, why there's boards on the door behind me, for instance, and, and why I keep getting visions, and I can alter bodies. It's very odd, but I do remember this. The way you get health back in this game is to essentially get warm. There you go. 
it is gradually going up. So there are no med... Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh. So that's how that happened, apparently. Okay. 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 Yeah, there are no med kits in this game. There's no stim packs or anything like that. It's all based around heat. It's all based around light. And the planks are gone. Strange. Okay. And so is the body. And the handrails. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Weird. I guess now we can... Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oh, shit, 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 shit. I'm pretty... Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, right. So that's how he ended up like that. Why did he do that? Ah, oh, really? Can't I just sneak around and get his axe? I really want that. I think at some point I do get a weapon because I will have to fend for myself and fight off a few creatures, a few zombies, if you want to call them that. Ah, the lock and chain. Oh, actually... Yeah, this is it. This is actually uh, my first weapon. So there you go. I think you can make, like, you can do combo attacks and stuff. Yeah, like, like a left and a right and uppercuts and hooks and stuff. Not bad. Okay, can we get this open then? Brilliant. This is nice, just getting acclimated back into this game. To break the boards with your fist, press the left mouse key. Fair enough. Just punch them off. Simple as that. Yeah, there we go. Mike Tyson, eat your heart out. Okay, where are we going? Are we going down? Oh, look. Another unfortunate soul. Looks like he was kind of flooded, actually. Uh, let's go down. Let's have a look. What happened to you? Ah. Can I help? I don't know if I can. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck me! Right. Okay. So there we go. A little bit of a fight. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah, to select the hand to strike with and to direct strikes, hold the moving keys, WS, and... Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, it depends on which way you're stepping of, of like, how you punch. So if you move forward, you sort of do a little jab. If you're moving left, you do a left. If you're moving right, you do a right. If you're moving backwards, you do an uppercut. So, not bad. Okay. Right. Calm down, calm down. Can I use this? Perfect. Ah. The closer I get to this, the more heat is in the area. And therefore, the more health I can get back. There you are. Okay, now let's keep moving on to the next area. Just living through the events of what got them here in the first place. I guess they... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you're a big one. Oh. Oh, look at that. Knockout punch. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I had to punch you. So something is making them come back from the dead. I don't know exactly what. Probably what was talked about right at the beginning of the game, but I don't know any more than that, to be perfectly honest with you. Right. Ah, here we go. Let's go up to the light, because that's a pretty good source of, uh, of heat, and therefore life. Not bad, eh? All right. Oh, perfect. Okay, the game has just saved, so I can't help but think that this is actually quite a good place for me to stop the first video. Thank you very much for watching this first part. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that it was quite short, and sorry that I didn't show off too much of the game, but honestly, I'm just quite proud that I'm recording it at all, and I'm actually playing it the way it was originally meant to be played. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you want to see a part two. If that's the case, please let me know by leaving a comment or liking the video or subscribing or sharing this with your friends and family and all that good stuff. And uh, maybe I'll see you in a part two very soon. See you then. So there are no med... Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I can. Oh, oh Jesus Christ.